And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube who's watching this video later on over there for some Orzov Aristocrats. That's right, we have a donation deck here uh, to, uh, you know, try out an Aristocrat style deck. <clears throat> so for those of you that don't really know what an Aristocrat style deck is, that's where you're playing a lot of cheap creatures that you want to sacrifice for profit. So in here we have Priests of Forgotten Gods that allows us to sacrifice two creatures for a sweet ability. And then, um, and you know, like also whenever our, our creatures are dying, we got the Cruel Settlement triggers. And then we also have the Bantu that can come in and sacrifice a bunch of permanents. Um, you know, can trigger the, the Cruel Celebrant. Um, can also trigger like Midnight Reaper as well. Um, and then we can, we have some ways to get some creatures back with the Soren and everything there. So that's that's kind of the style of our deck. We're just playing some, like, on their own, you know, like Haunted Witness, not a very good card. But Haunted Witness, hey, is the kind of card that, like, makes some of these other cards. It makes Priests of Forgotten Gods better by having it. It makes, you know, Bantu, Midnight Reaper, you know, better by having Haunted Witness in your deck. And so that's what we have. We're also playing a couple Spark Harvests as, like, a really cheap removal spell. Uh, that we can sacrifice some creatures as well to get some extra triggers there. Um, but that's that's kind of the point of our deck. Let's give it a try. So this is a donation deck that, you know, a viewer submitted deck. So that means I'm going to go ahead and head on over to the traditional constructed queue and play a league here. We'll play until we win five or lose two. See how it goes there. Gideon's just a... A really good card at pressuring opponents and so yeah it's just it's a really solid aggressive card um, you know you, you want to be able to attack your opponents and do some damage so that your triggers from cruel celebrant end up killing them and that's what Gideon can do there yeah so exactly so the name aristocrat specifically comes from the, the card cartel aristocrat um, there is a deck built a around it and falcon wrath aristocrat the like those so those aristocrats um that that was like their card type and everything uh back in return to ravnica block standard right around there and so yeah so that's where the that's where the term aristocrat came from were, were those cards woodland stream a really nice looking priest of forgotten gods here. Hey, no, ok Okami, that was a good question. Good question. Um, Cabbage Cruncher! Thanks for that donation there. All right, so we can have like we can play the Seraph this turn. We'll kind of see what what happens here. I could just put both gutter bones back in hand, but no, let's play Seraph. Okay, that deck, yeah, that Boar Reanimator, that's similar to the Jund Revival that we're going to be playing here in a little bit. Hmm. I don't like Wild Growth Walkers. I don't want them gaining six life with a Jade Light Ranger. I could just play the Midnight Reaper and I draw two cards also, but I'm going to do it this way where I have the Midnight Reaper afterwards. Hey, Gatsby. Happy Thursday. And is useful somewhere. back to the shadows. But now... I wouldn't mind a cruel celebrant. 
Ooh. Okay, okay. So they're at nine. Um, so seven, five, four. So we'll put them down to four. All right, well, let's just go. Yeah, chill out. Let's just go here, here. We couldn't have been allies. Gods bless us in our righteous cause. Actually, yeah. So I, I wasn't really anticipating actually playing the Gideon, but then I, then I thought about, um, I was gonna, I was gonna go Soren minus on Midnight Reaper, but then I was thinking, then I thought Masker Girl, and yeah, just kind of ended up with the. The Gideon here. Hmm. Actually, you can only do gutter bones on your own turn. So I can't I can't actually use the two mana to activate gutter bones. Which is lame. And yeah, so just make them sacrifice the other two three and then attack them with the Gideon. There's a lot of different ways we could have won from where we were at. Alright, so they're commanding the Dread Horde and they got Wild Growth Walker. So let's definitely bring in Honor Guards. Um I could see Elder Spell being good here. You know, like definitely seems like they're playing a lot of Planeswalkers. If they have that, they have that Planeswalker land. So yeah, we'll play Elder Spell. Um, Kaya's Wrath is kind of awkward with Honor Guard, but this this kind of seems like a Kaya's Wrath matchup also. Or do I want to take out? Is it a Hunted Witness or Tithe Taker? I guess Hunted Witness costing one mana is a lot better than Tithe Taker costing two. I think I should have put in all the duresses also. I have to cut a lot of cards bringing duresses also. Thing is, like you can have like duresses and they just kill you with, with wild growth jade light. I think I want to keep like the removal in. So let's take out Tithe Taker. Um, I guess two Hunted Witness. And one Reaper. Yeah, Kaya's a pretty decent cyborg card against Dread Horde. That's true. I don't like... I don't like Tesa at all. Um, I, I don't think Tesa is strong enough. Even, you know, like, getting getting some of your stuff to have double triggers, it's still just two mana, or sorry, four mana, two, four. Just not, not in love with it at all. Maybe I'm supposed to not keep the hand that has no removal for Wild Growth Walker. That's certainly what my hand was bad against. You know, like we had, you know, Celebrant into Midnight Reaper, but hand was definitely bad against Wild Growth into Jade Light.
Yeah, Taco Lord, I am. That's where I'm originally from. Well, no, I who knows what originally from means anymore, I, I guess. But this. yeah, I've spent a lot of my life there. So next turn I can either like Bantu plus I can either Bantu or I could Gideon plus Elder Spell. Pain is weakness, leaving the body. Which Gideon plus Elder Spell, especially if they have another Planeswalker, yeah. Then I can ultimate Gideon immediately and does Gideon exile? Yeah, Gideon exiles. So I can just exile Wild Growth. I know I noted this somewhere. This is nice. This is going to be a nice turn. Do we think? I guess I, I guess I didn't. I should have played this first and gained two life because I, I, I realize I'm going to do this with the celebrant afterwards. So yeah, I, I oh no, because I'm not. I'm going to minus six Gideon. That's right. Do we think they're just going to sacrifice Wild Growth Walker if I do it this way though? Oh, they they can't sacrifice. <laughs> that's right. Oh well, that's fine. I have become it's too involved with, with my work. So if I would have just done it, just shock in and play Gideon and Elder Spell, then I would not have been able to play Cruel Celebrant. But Cruel Cell, you know, but they wouldn't have a Jade Light Ranger either. So, yep, should have just done it that way. Yep, forgot Tammy Osak. That, that's why I did it the way I did so that I could have had Cruel Celebrant in play, but um, should have done it the other way so that J Light Ranger would be gone. Oh, come on. Yeah, I wish I would have done it the other way. Forgot, forgot about that Tamio passive. This is pretty awkward with not being able to play multiple things. Okay, yeah, probably Taco Lord. Yeah, I remember Ira. 
Yeah. I am not quite indestructible. <clears throat> well, that's nine life that we're not going to take here. Nine damage. Okay, cool. Pretty new to all the, the series currently in standard. How much does the meta usually change when the new set is introduced? Um, quite a bit, usually. Now, the longer you go into standard, like we're about to put the eighth set into standard. And so that's this is the set that, that will make standard change the least overall. Um, but Uh, usually from set to set, the metagame changes quite a bit. Um, but, yeah, the longer you go in, the less true that is. So they're at 17. My... Okay, they're just attacking me. So they're gonna go to 19, 3, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Bleh. I gotta block one more time. So did not wanna, didn't wanna block the 3, 2, because if I block the 3, 2, then they can Masker Worm and wipe the board. I don't really know why they would want to Masker Girl and wipe the board. Wait, why don't they just... Wait, what? Just want to do that. So 17. So do I kill him with... Oh, no, no. Oh! No, Celebrant's only creatures, right? Not anything. I was thinking, like, I could bond to get the other Celebrant, bond to... Sack all these lands. Yeah, celebrants are only creatures. Yeah, it's not Mayhem Devil. See, the last time last time I played with Bantu in one of those cards it was Mayhem Devil. And so that's why I was thinking Mayhem Devil. Well. Um We'll start with that. I mean, I think I'm just dead here. Can I stay alive? So I, I guess I can get two blockers. I guess I can kind of stay alive. Not really stay alive. Okay. Yeah, we need Kaya's Wrath. All right, gonna take out a Bantu and I mean. That that game I just did not, you know, I I just didn't play that game well, you know. Like if I if I actually make them sacrifice the Jade Light Ranger, uh, my Gideon's a lot better. I get to keep the Celebrant out. Like on, honestly, there's a lot of things that game that I could have done better. But yeah, even with how much life they gained, I I maybe could have won that. 
Y'all really want these duresses. The, the problem is... Like, we need to keep a lot of creatures with Priest. Still. Because this is definitely a Priest matchup. Priest is awesome here. I just don't think we have room. We need, we need removal. We just don't have room for duress. Just gonna play one Wrath over a Bantu. Um, no, because Spark Harvest still kills the Planeswalkers, you know, like Tamiyo. Like, Tamiyo is a huge problem, for example. I think we just need removal, and like, creatures removal. Yuck. Still yuck. Uh, Gideon is really good. On the play, turn three, Gideon would be awesome. But it's just not very likely that we actually have that. All right, I already hate this Memorial of Folly. we draw a black source here nope honestly I have no idea why they wouldn't just minus and grab the wild growth walker if that's the card they want I, like do they expect like Tamio at two to be bad or something let's have, have another one so we're dead let me like, aid your research. like they have a wild growth walker in the graveyard they can grab Hey, Yud. I follow the tracks of the wise. Mortality suits me well. So defiance is infuriating. Okay. Your noted. Yeah, our opponent is kind of letting us back into this game. Like we should not be this into it. Yeah, yeah, they're setting up Dreadhorde for sure, but. Not that well. They're at eight. I mean, we have we have Takali Honor Guards in our deck. Takali Honor Guards, like better to have than some of those other things. Like Honor Guard ugh, would be awesome if we actually had it. My revenge will be pain. Witness a moat of my power.
So this puts them down to one. I mean, I could have had the two flyers attack the Tamiyo, so they couldn't just automatically get back Branchwalker. Well, that's game. Wild Growth Walker is mean. All right. Well, that that game two definitely learned, you know, definitely learned some things. Their game two, you know, I I missequenced. Um. Yeah, I just missequenced with the Tamio, um, passive. Yeah, Tamio is just such an awesome card. We had the Elder Spell for the first one, but that second one, just annihilated us. Yeah, no honor guard for us. Tamio just. Fills the graveyard with a bunch of cards. All right, let's see how this five-card hand does. So far, so good. There are so meditate and prepare. All right, more Narsets. I'll send two at Narset to get rid of Narset. Like, so Narset can't minus. I don't really, you know, I don't really care that, that, that it's out there because they have the other one that they may be playing here. Uh, so instead of sending three, we get that extra point at them. Join my cause. That's kind of a tough one. All right, so they get to activate Kasmina again, but I also get the, the Gutter Bones back and get to play it again. And activating the Kasmina again does kill Kasmina. So, like, if I send everything at Kasmina, I, I get to kill Kasmina, but then I don't get the Gutter Bones back. Yeah, they'll five land no land. Good old. Those are not some. Those are not uh, good ones. Celebrant doesn't ping stuff. It's just they lose a life, you gain a life. It doesn't. You can't have celebrant kill planeswalkers. The past, present, and future are that I have just the trick for this. Hmm. 
Hmm. All right, I guess we're gonna attack Narset all out so that we get to draw a card. This was overwhelming. They block. I don't know if that's even worth it, but that does keep them from activating the Narset again also. Oh, your point, oh, that, that Celebrant allows us to get the Gutter Bones back. Gotcha. Every exploit rebels. The truth lies beyond vision. Gross. Not like it really matters. All right, going upstairs. We're hoping for no Urza's Ruinous Blast that just exiles all of my cards. <laughs> Urza's Ruinous Blast would be bad. And <laughs> Dovin's head looks really weird in this. So he like, has like, I guess you know, like when you look at him more. I guess he's got a neck, but like looking at it like this, it looks like he just doesn't have a neck. And just like a little tiny head out of this big body with no neck. Oh yeah, yeah, Cry of the Carnarium really does hurt our deck. Yep, it sure does. All right, we want Duress in, Spell in, Bell Haunt. I don't know. Bell Haunt can, like, you know, it's a 3-4. doesn't die to Deafening Clarion. Make him discard a card. I don't hate me some Bell Haunt here. We don't need Priest. And without using Priest, I think Hunted Witness is pretty weak, just being the 1-1. One, one. So we'll just take out those two cards. Uh, cast Down, I guess, is... Probably isn't so necessary either. Hmm. I'll play two priest over two cast down. Bleh. Well, going to five last game worked. So let's try it again. Hmm. All right, keepable hand. <laughs> we have a two lander. Hey, Daxter. We're doing pretty good with your deck. We played uh, some really close games against Sultai, Command the Dread Horde earlier. I messed up game two. And then sequence well. That's more like it. All right, gonna start with this. Romana considerations that we draw another land, we get to double spell. Inspired by a good assault. I'll protect you.
and they're just gonna block. It doesn't really matter exactly what I attack. All right, gonna go two of these with them having with them having a one one. One two is gonna attack through a one one, better than what Tithe Taker can. Wow. I fight with a dragon's rage. <laughs> yeah, we have had a lot of mulligans and mana trouble and everything. Here goes nothing. Yeah, you know, like we're trying to we're trying to win with a four card hand here. It's not working out so well for us. Come on, I will listen to them roar. We was in his band. So this is where we this draw Elder Spell. I'm not often wrong. No. Well, Sarkin should be able to finish us off. Unfortunately. Ugh. Don't worry, I got this. I will call the dragons. Ow, ow. My presence hey. will guide. They went Time Raveler to Dovin to Sarkin to Ugin. Good game. I think that beats my four little cards here. I'll play Cast Down instead of Priest of Forgotten Gods. I really like Priest in this kind of matchup. I don't really like Cast Down either. I don't, I don't like either, but you know, we have like 58 cards that I want. We got to put in two or something else. Maybe I just go one and one with them. Okay. We got some cards. We can do some stuff. Oh, right. So I played Soren first as lifelink. We'll see if that three life ends up killing me. Unlikely, but you never know. <laughs> what a mess I've made. No, I keep the deck the same whenever I get a donation deck unless um, really unless the person that donates for it uh, says that they would like me to modify anything. But otherwise I keep it the same. Yeah, we, we have we have spark harvest in here. Super sack. Yeah, we, we have a couple spark harvests in here. We got an elder spell. Hone your control. At least one elder spell. Maybe more. At least one. But still not going so good for us. 
This is just spells that target, right? Yeah, so ability like Soren can tick up and do a damage to Kasmina. Yeah, I'm stumped. I still, yeah, I'll still give it a go. Yep. Hey, there's a Spark Harvest. Speaking of... Is lost. These are useful traits. So we can rebuy the Midnight Reaper with Memorial to Folly. I walk a righteous path. Prepare for battle. I wonder with I wonder if my opponent thought that um, I could have played the Gideon main phase one to give the Reaper indestructible. So they're probably thinking that I'm just messing that up really bad. Your light will cleave the darkness. Next turn I could put two counters on Blast Zone. Not quite enough to get rid of Binding. you my strength they gotta have like do they have like settle they do Yes, well, if if I would have killed Binding with Gideon, that would have killed my Gideon, because it's minus six, so my Gideon would have gone away. So I'm waiting a turn, because I'm going to try to kill Binding with... I'm going to kill Binding with Gideon this turn, if that's seven, but, you know, we need... We need the Gideon to survive, of course. No one hone your prowess. Yeah, there looks to be some really cool Scape Shift stuff uh, in Corset 2020. A lot, you know, there's like three or four different cards that work really well with Scape Shift. Listen up, and I'll teach you a trick or two. Every day is a new lesson. So one, two, three. will return with even more disciples. Yeah, Blast Zone was nice. Darkness be gone. I abhor my need. <clears throat>
Those who cannot proceed beyond the veil. Ugh. Oh no, really, Sway? Oh no. Do you want, do you want me to move your deck to tomorrow? Retreat. Okay, and I can change the deck. Okay, cool. I was looking at it earlier, and I, yeah, I was thinking that, that I would like to change stuff. But cool. There's probably around... Uh, there's probably like five or so. Um, queen songs on the playlist. Like maybe... Maybe six or seven, probably, pro at least five. Probably somewhere in the five to eight range, I guess. Share that's, my light. that's probably safe. So out of the 700 songs, there's probably five to eight queen ones. I was not prepared for this. Yeah, nothing to bring back with the Sorens. So we're just ticking it up. Bellhaunt was in the sideboard. If you show remorse, I'll show restraint. I've got it. I don't think my opponent's going to have anything that costs two mana that I really care about. We will meet again. <laughs> Time for a drink. I believe in you. Wow, all right. Is they're going to be able to deal with the Gideon. The Gideon Soren combo. I don't know. They could just draw a new. Like we see, we see Ugin from them. They could draw Ugin, kill one of them. But all right, one and one. Wait, actually, here I wanted, I wanted to reset the client because it's, I don't reset it all day, and as we've seen here, it's pretty jumpy. A little blue dune buggy in my hand. The new M twenty draw spell. I uh, no, I, I don't I don't know exactly what what that's referring to. Hey six one nine. So I'm not sure which one that is, the Ripper. Yeah, like that that uh Yeah, that was one of my very favorite albums too. And the Presidents of the United States album. Loved that that whole album. Um, a couple of my friends and I would, you know, drive around and always have that album on when we're just, you know, doing whatever. Two blue, blue sorcery. Look at the top seven cards of your library. Put two of them into your hand and the rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Yeah, that card is pretty strong. Um, you know, if we think about... You know, chemistry's inside draws two. Obviously, some of the strength of chemistry's inside, of course, is the instant speed. But instead of just drawing two, you know, you get to really dig and see what you want. All right, as per control, priest of forgotten gods is not good. So unfortunately, we have two of them in our hand. Priest and hunted witness are what I'm going to be sideboarding out, and. We unfortunately have three <laughs> of our eight 
Priest and Hunted Witness in our opener. But let's get some damage in. I know my responsibility. <laughs> hey, Sir Conan. Oh, I've done the hero thing before. All right, so let's play this. The gutter bones are good draws. You know, just one mana, two ones. We'll take those. Two power is a lot bigger, better than one power. I really should have seen that coming. Cry of the Carnarium? Why can't it be Kaya's Wrath? Well, that's it. Serve of the Scales is good. Yeah, we have three of them in here. It's a good card. The rest of the game is just a formality now. Yeah, Cry of the Carnarium is kind of the end of the game for us. So they get a Sorin. I guess they could grab Teferi, but yeah. Sorin seems a lot better. Stop this fight, but I will finish it. <laughs> yeah, Kitty's Hawkeye's favorite song. So I mean, technically we could draw like Gideon and maybe they don't have an answer for Gideon. No, I guess I guess that's like what we have. Like Bantu draws us like a few cards. Wait, so they kept absorb on top and then ditched it? Why why would you want to ditch absorb here? Why What's a better card than absorb right now? What a mess I've made. Like what's it's a possible better card? I don't know, I think Absorb's better than Liliana. I don't know what our opponent's doing, but it doesn't it doesn't really matter you know how this game's been over for a long time, but when they had syncopate, just main phasing as Kanta and tapping down that low. You know, the rest of the game was a formality, but the decisions they were making. Oh well. Well let's go ahead and get rid of all these priests and hundred witnesses and cast downs and not have enough to bring in so we gotta play two of these cards um don't want any of them but we gotta play two so I, I kinda feel like in our our deck instead of having cast downs or like basically two of these cards have to be cards that are okay against a control deck. So like maybe instead of playing cast downs we should have just disparks. Like just having disparks in the main deck maybe um or or something else like that. 
because all of these cards are pretty horrendous in this mat in this matchup. Like not not in general, but just in this matchup, they're all very very bad. I guess I'll play a couple of hunted witness. So we gotta have something that we want instead. Yeah, so we don't really want Priest of Forgotten Gods because our our opponent isn't really playing creatures for them. Like, we don't have stuff to sacrifice. And a, it's two mana and it has one power. And that two mana with one power doesn't kill people. So we need a. So whether that means, um, whether that means that we don't get four hundred witnesses, or, you know what, so somewhere, out of those out of those ten cards in the in the main deck that are really bad against control with the. With the hundred witnesses. Um, Priests and cast down. There either need to be 10 cards in the sideboard that are good against control that we can bring in, or we have to replace something there with something that's a little bit better against control. So there's there's like the two slots there that we gotta work on. They want to keep the Midnight Reaper, which I guess if I keep all the creatures, oh sorry, if I keep all the creatures, we do have we are presenting lethal, so I guess I should keep all the creatures. I was kind of plan planning on sacking the 1-1, one, one, but with them being specifically at 9, at that exact life total, I kept the 1-1. One, one. Alright, good. No settle. Settle would have been a little awkward, but we would, would have just grabbed a bunch of lands that we could sacrifice to Bantu again. Well, they could have, yeah, we, we discarded the, the first settle uh, with the duress, but they could have maybe drawn a second one. Okay, game three. So I think one thing actually, maybe Daxter, like the way to go there is just instead of playing four of the Hunted Witness, maybe just go two Hunted Witness and then play four Tithe Takers. Because, I don't know, that does up the curve. But Tithe Takers, you know, are good here. As we saw, Tide Taker was just awesome that game for us. Poor Blast Zone. Please no cry the Carnarium. I only have one black right now. We have the unfortunate... Like, Blast Zone was awesome for us in a previous game. This is the unfortunate part of Blast Zone. Uh, do I, I don't really need to give my creatures lifelink. I... All 
All right, now we got a lot of extra lands we can sacrifice to Bell Hunt. So that was like, you know, worst case scenario, them having Settle, but you know, if they don't have Settle, I'm getting all that damage in. So they could have Cry the Carnarium at any point also. Trust me, you'll thank time is much more malleable than people think. Yeah, and now we got Bell Hunt mana. Um, let's, let's go Bell Hunt. Let's not sacrifice our lands yet. Because we got stuff to play. And they did have Cry of the Carnarium, just Keep didn't have the, the second black. No, Mabantu. That was Bantu cruel. Man, another settle now would be pretty brutal. That's brutal. Acquisition. We need to move quickly. I had two creatures. They could, if I don't attack with two creatures, if they just have a re a removal spell, then the Teferi doesn't die. So it's if I just attack with one creature, they already played one settle of the wreckage. Like how many settles are they realistically playing? Considering we've seen, you know. We, Game one, we've seen Cry the Carnarium and Cleansing Nova also. They have two cards in hand. Yeah, so yeah, the Unmoored Ego is good. You know, like they, they drew Land Ego, so just a couple of dead cards there. That's good for us. So Teferi's going to die. And... Since we got all these lands out of our deck, we're probably not going to draw lands, right? Nope. But we're in a good spot. You know, like, they have no cards. We got seven power, two turn clock. Get out of here. Bad as Kanta. Bad. Nope, still drawn lands. <laughs> Alright, do they brick? Not a brick. We've had the three bricks in a row, four bricks in a row. All right, don't draw anything good. Hooray. All right, we got there. GG's. Okay, we're two and one. And we
we are moving on. It didn't look amazing after that second settle, but the the bell haunts were good. Got to clear out their hands. Get that last Masterminds acquisition out of the hand. Cool, we got a free two damage in there. So they likely have a shock. Yeah, they're like likely shocking in for shock. And double Phoenix. Gonna go aggro. These celebrants here are not gonna actually kill the Electromancer. Try to get this damage in. So they're down to 11. Each creature they kill deals them two. So now they're at nine. As you can see, they were easily gonna get the Phoenixes back even without, you know. They didn't need Electromancer, both these. One mana, one mana. They were perfectly fine. Yeah, Mono Red's pretty good. Alright, good. Still just two Phoenix. I guess I could just pay the four. So if I sack gutter bones, we have to do two to put them to seven and then attack for four. So they're at three. Yeah, I'm going to sacrifice. Yes, go to the main screen prod and in the top right hand part like pro like around here there's a symbol that's like your your wild card symbol. If you mouse over it, you'll see how many wild cards that you have. All right, GG. Good job, cruel celebrant. Yeah, it'll be it'll be like up here, like kind of like where this options thing is. It'll be up there. All right. So what do we got? We got Phoenix. Hmm. We don't have any exile removal. Out of the stuff in here, Duress is like the only thing that I could be interested in. Is there anything that's... Would I rather have Duress over anything here? I think Corpse Knight's pretty good. Um, yeah, I like it quite a bit. It's easier to have creatures enter the battlefield than have creatures die for the most part. And The big thing that I like about it more than Cruel Celebrant, though... Um, is that it's a 2-2. Two, two. I think being the 2-2 two, two instead of 1-2 is a really, really big deal. 
two twos actually are are like decent in combat where one twos really aren't Hawkeye is he's up sleeping on the bed Takatli does not stop their creatures from having haste. I'm going to play Duress over Priest of Forgotten Gods. I think that with with all their like shocks, coils, all that kind of stuff, I think it's kind of unlikely that we have like the other creatures to sacrifice. Making them sacrifice Phoenix isn't really even that good. Black mana, maybe? I mean, our, our hand's pretty bad. Maybe we should have just gone to five, but... No, Takali does not stop Riot. Yay. Yeah, Cannonade can be rough, but Cannonade's going to be a lot better than Cry of the Carnarium is because we'll still get, like, the triggers, you know, whether it's, like, Tithe Taker or Hunted Witness dying, getting you extra bodies, or the the 1-2 whenever it dies. Uh, the Cruel Celebrant, like, you know, the Cruel Celebrant gets you all the triggers, so. It's not the worst. All right, we need to get this fourth land here. Can you get this fourth land? That's unfortunate. No fourth land. Midnight Reaper is about as good as it goes, gets though without the fourth land. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I'm really liking the core set. Like the creatures that they got going on over there. Ugh. Folly. Why do you do this to me? Alright, maybe I should have taken out Haunted Witness instead of Priest. I don't know. Haunted Witness is just such a weak creature. If you don't have Priest, it's really not doing anything. We got Bantu, I suppose. I thought that was Disdainful Stroke there. I was like, what? Oh, Hunter Witness still does stuff with Cruel Celebrant, Midnight Reaper, Bantu. It's not just only for Priest. It's just pretty weak, but it still helps out other cards. Alright, so it looks like they got the red finale. So they'll grab Lava Coil and then an instant, so a shock, sure. Wait. Wait, they're shocking Sarah for the scales? Not Lava Coiling? What? Well, they found a phoenix, unfortunately. What? Hmm. 
feel like they went through a whole lot of cards to kind of deal with my Seraph of the Scales. Do I want a Bantu? So if I Bantu, we sack... I'm going to sack all three of these. And then like four, five. I'm going to draw five. Well, let's go... Let's go Sarah first. Let's go Sarah first. One, two, three, four. Do I sack the one one or keep the one one? We'll keep the one one. We'll just do these four. Monty's pretty cool. Yeah, we're playing standard here. All right. I was going to be able to, I was going to charge up the blast zone to another one or like put another counter on it to make it two counters. And we're three and one. Oh yeah, we've been we've been blowing up blast zones here the last few matches. Uh, we killed an Escanta, we killed an Ixalan's Binding, um, a Kasmina. Hey, what's up, QQ? Thanks for that resub there for half a year now. You're amazing. That's our fifth sub of the day. Hmm. We have been doing pretty well for how many times we've been mulliganing with the deck. It's probably a good sign. Man, Midnight Reaper looks pretty nice here, but we don't have that third land. You know, gotta look, gotta give us ourselves two chances for this third land for this Gideon. Well, we would have had it. So kind of wish we would have just had the, the Midnight Reaper here next, but oh well. The gods bless us in our righteous cause. Your light will cleave the darkness. We're not putting too much pressure on the control player with the, the couple 1-1s, one but Gideon... We'll do a little better job. Prepare for battle. There you go. Gideon's got twice the clock than the priest and the hunted witness have together. This isn't a fight you can win. No, I am not making this up as I go. Cool. 
Cruel Celebrant. I believe in you. It's only a matter of time. I am not going to sit. Down. I'm not ready for this quest. All right, we did a pretty good, Gideon. Did pretty good. I'm just going to pay the four. This is hardly my worst defeat. Let us get the most damage in over here. If there's a Kaya's Wrath, we kill him because the, the Cruel Celebrant does three and then we get the other Hunted Witness token for the fourth. That's a little surprising. The Priest, I guess maybe a Basilica Bell Haunt. Let's slow this down. Here goes nothing. Oh, do I have lethal with priest? All right, so if we... Wait, yeah, that last turn. So they were at seven. So attack for two is five. Activate priest is three. And then sac... No, yes, yeah, so no. We... Oh, but then three, but then the two triggers. No, I don't think we did. Hmm. Three. Yeah, so that that's why they killed the priest, because the... I gotcha. So the priest sacrificed this turn would be lethal. Hit them down to two. That didn't go according to plan. Kaiser, you have to be invited to that. It's not something you get to choose. No, we were one off before. We could have dealt six when they were at... Um, when they were at seven. Together, we can banish evil from this play. Share in my light. Can we get there? Can we get this last little bit through here? They're down to four cards. We're kind of fighting through stuff. I am the master here. Well, it's gonna be harder to fight through. Good, mindless minion. Now they get to draw a lot of cards. Why? Can, why can't that just be? Ugh, would have liked to land here. I will lend you my strength. Why can't that be you lose a life and draw a card? Like whenever your creature control dies, you lose a life, draw a card. I'm having the witness be able to protect or like be able to block for Gideon right now. I don't know. I guess. I mean, I guess. Yeah, we attack. We draw a card. Next turn, I'm going to folly back this Celebrant and play it, and we should be good. And it's it's nice having this side of that Witness and not the other for, like, the Liliana Minus also. I won't hide from the world any longer. Not so fast. The Gideon's been really good, though. The Gideon's been quite good. So they're up like one. GG. Play 
Celebrant. Attack in. There we go. Alright, so they have... They do have a lot of creatures over here. I could see me keeping in a couple of priests, or maybe even some cast downs. Like, are they going to take out some of those creatures? Or sweepers and stuff? Ugh. Ugh. Yeah, dress will be coming on in. Like so, maybe I keep in a couple of cast downs. Be able to kill Hostage Shaker. I don't. I don't expect them to take out Hostage Shaker, and maybe they keep in Thief of Sanity. Also, you never know. But yeah, they'll probably go full control, but I expect Hostage Taker to stay in there, and maybe Basilica Bell Hunt also. So I'm gonna keep in the cast downs. Yeah, I don't know why they haven't added the the fuller basics yet. Can't wait for that to happen. Two Lilianas, a moment of craving. Wait, why did they why did they play the other blue land? Oh, I should have played Folly. I don't really like our chances this game too much. Enter the God Eternals is the better card to overall, but I was kind of hoping they weren't, weren't going to get their land drops. That, you know, we could get enough damage in here with the gutter bones at least. No land, no land. No land. No land, no land. Ooh, let me keep the cast down. Let me keep that cast down. Okay, so I can cast down the Celebrant and then they don't gain four life. Or I let them gain the four life and then kill the four four. I think I let them gain the four life and then kill the four four. If I kill the Celebrant, they still get the 4-4. They just wouldn't have gained 4 life, but they would still have the 4-4 there in play. I don't know, it kind of looks like maybe I should have just let them have... Hmm.
Good help is easy to find in war. Uh. <sighs> All right, come on, draw land. Draw land. Yay. And mana. All right, so yeah, we're fine. All right, now we'll celebrant. They gotta block one of these. They take three. Man, celebrant's great. <laughs> yeah, that that's pretty familiar. I think we went through that line last time. I was I was honestly expecting them to take up Liliana. So I guess I don't know why I was ex mad about the Thought Rager because they couldn't play the other Liliana because you know they didn't have the mana. But I was expecting them to, to play Liliana and then play a new Liliana and tick up on the other one and, and tick up onto both of them. Whenever they immediately cast the Thought Erasure, I was thinking they were still going to be able to do that and still have like the two creatures and, and then the, like that Liliana was going to be a whole bunch of loyalty. Yeah, I think they had like, that a spark for probably for Seraph of the Scales. You know, like they were probably thinking Seraph, Soren. Um... But yeah, we just didn't have our seraphs, so worked out well. All right, so we are four and one. We are on our way to the final boss. And yeah, yeah, it hits Bantu too. But they're probably I don't know if they were really that ready for Bantu. I guess did I pl maybe I played a Bantu? Yeah, I played a Bantu game one. And that's a good point. Yeah, they they just always have it for Immortal Sun. Well, we saw them have Hostage Taker also if they're just scared of Immortal Sun. But here we go. 4-1, final boss. Love it. Get turn one, Gutta Bones. Always like rolling, rolling the bones. Turn one. I guess it's a tough choice for him. Never hold back gutter bones. They always attack. Go, creatures, go. Sure. Breeze of Forgotten Gods isn't any good here. All right, down to 10. Two turn clock. Yeah, this is the, the boss song for Final Fantasy 7. But it's it's actually it's not like the it's a you know it's a cover, I think. I don't think this is like the exact I believe. Whoa, Seraph is good. That was a sweet animation. 
All right, so we've kind of figured out our sideboarding here. We'll just keep on playing against control every round. So we bring in Duress, Elder Spell, Bell Haunt. We cut Hunted Witness, Priest, and Cast Down. And then we lament the fact that we have to put two other cards back in from our sideboards. So then we figure out which two we want. Um... Hmm. Guess priest. Oh, cast down was kind of cool last time. Try the cast down. Yeah, I was, I'm expecting Basilica Bell Hunt, and yet. Yeah, Enter the God Eternals, Hostage Taker, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, maybe they just have a hero precinct one that's just chilling. Oh man, if we just draw planes, get this Gideon on turn three. It's not exactly a planes. All right, get rid of Escanta. Hey, Joe, thanks for that Twitch Prime sub. Thanks for that support. All right, that's planes. And they have the Bell Haunt that we can cast down. Sorry, sixth sub of the day. Let me lead the charge into darkness. I believe in you, friend. Do I discard the swamp? You go bell hunt here. I guess I discard swamp. Hey, Kazunato. Thoughtsy's bug. Your light will cleave the darkness. Yeah, I briefly talked about Tesa earlier, but I. I don't like Tesa very much at all. I don't think that I don't think the two four body for four mana is good, and I don't think the ability that Tesa has is uh, good enough to make up for it. I can take a hit or two. Hmm. Prepare for battle. We will meet again. Curse the darkness. All right, keep whittling through their cards. Keep it going, Gideon. Bring it on. Uh. What? They didn't kill Gideon? Sweet. Share in my light. Yeah, let, let Gideon live. I'll take it. I will lend 
lend you my strength. So Midnight Reaper does just replace itself with a Kaya's Wrath, but I mean I think they're just gonna be casting this Kaya's Wrath. Like look at how little cards they have. Okay, not yet. So I kinda felt like we didn't really even need to do that. I believe in you. Gideon's just crushing. Boom, boom, boom. Yeah, they could draw another cry, that's true. We we had them discard one cry earlier. Yeah, draw more lands. Alright, there's the Kai's Wrath. I believe in you, friend. I can almost kill him. With the spark harvest. Oh wait, I guess it could have. Yeah, spark harvest, sack, sack midnight reaper, kill cruel celebrant. Yeah, I could have killed them. Assuming they had nothing. But we're still in a great spot. <laughs> there we go. That is going to be the victory. Five and one. GG's. Oppose me and be reduced to rubble. Yeah, so we beat Esper what, three times and Grixis once. We're doing really good against the, the blue black control decks. Or is that all of our matches? Were all of our matches control decks that you know that we won? We lost our first round also. And I think we were down a game in game... Yeah, we were down a game, I believe, in, in round number two. And yeah, it was just a bunch of Espas. Yeah, Bantu did some stuff. We got to draw some cards a couple of times with Bantus. Yeah. The Gideons were awesome. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, I think, I think there needs to be two more good cards against Control in the 75. But I don't know, cast down wasn't so bad, honestly. Maybe cast down's not so bad. Um, yeah, our opponents were playing some Cry of the Carnariums, but you know, we have Gideon that doesn't die to Cry. Gideon was just awesome. Really, really good card for us. Um, Bell Haunt did some good work in the sideboard too. I liked that card. I don't know exactly where they would go. Like, like maybe you don't need all 400 witnesses. Like, maybe just 300 witness plus, you know, like a maybe three witness, three tithe taker. And then you play one cast down against control also. Um, yeah, Gideon was awesome. Bell Hunt. Yeah, the deck, deck played pretty well. All the cards. Like, Gutter Bones was incredible. You know, Gutter Bones did so much damage in all of those matches. Gutter Bones is like one of our best cards. Like, low key, you forget about it because it's just early. But you know, Gutter Bones was like always getting in like eight damage kind of thing, and and just really helping us out. And Midnight Reaper, Midnight Reaper was incredible. I uh, drew a good amount of cards. It you know like forced my opponent to play differently and and like deal with the Midnight Reapers. That was very good there too. But yeah, good deck, good deck. Um, yeah, I really like having the honor guards in the sideboard, even though we never drew them. But I think I would want to take out like one hundred witness for one tithe taker. I think just a small little change there. All right, so if you are watching this video later on YouTube, I hope you enjoyed it, and please hit that like and subscribe buttons over there. I'd appreciate that. Uh, but that's it here for Orzov Aristocrats. Thank you very much for watching. And I will see you for another video.